Chancellor Rootman, President Johnson, graduating students and honor guests. I'm joining you from the traditional and ceded territory of the Algonquin Anishinaabe people. I want to start by congratulating you, the graduates. Je tiens tout d'abord à vous féliciter. This is a major milestone and I'm honored to celebrate it with you. I would also like to recognize the family, friends and faculty members who have supported your academic journey. I found my love for public health in British Columbia during my fellowship in pediatric infectious diseases. This experience led me to the Canadian Field Epidemiology Program. Investigating what causes outbreaks continues to fascinate me. My hope for you is that today marks the beginning of a lifelong journey of curiosity and learning in our field. One of the reasons I was so pleased to be invited today is because of Simon Fraser's commitment to addressing social and health inequities. Through my work as the Canada's Chief Public Health Officer, I champion the reduction of health disparities in key populations. So the poorest and the most marginalized in Canada have an opportunity to lead the most healthy lives possible. So much depends on understanding the context in which diseases thrive, whether it be population dynamics that create conditions favorable to the spread of an infectious disease, or working conditions that put individuals at greater risk of health consequences, we must never lose sight of these determinants in order to develop lasting solutions. We are collectively living through extraordinary times, set in période tout à fait extraordinaire. As the saying goes, when you've seen one pandemic, you've seen one pandemic. Each one is unique. And COVID-19 has represented a massive lift and shift by the public health community and beyond. We have all had to adapt, navigating through the sea of uncertainties. Through it all, we have learned that together we can do hard things. Ensemble, nous pouvons faire de choses difficiles. Your university experience, which has been marked by the pandemic, has fostered your individual resiliency. Your next challenge is to take what you've learned and apply it towards building community resiliency to enable responses that meet the needs of those most affected. An element essential for an intervention efficace dans la durée et la confiance. It has been said that public health moves at the speed of trust. We see this time and time again, whether it is about addressing vaccine confidence for childhood immunizations or responding to Ebola outbreaks or now in the response to COVID-19. I want to close by saying how delighted I am that so many of you have chosen public health. We need your creativity, ingenuity and drive now more than ever. I can't wait to see where you will take us. J'ai hâte de voir où vous nous menerez. Merci. Thank you. Megwitch.